The first kind of graph is ST graph, which is displacement time graph. The horizontal axis is time, and the vertical axis is displacement. The graph captures the change of displacement with time. Let's look at an example. From 0 to 1 second, the object's displacement increases from 0 to 2 meters. It's a straight line, so it moves at a constant velocity. The velocity is the gradient of the line, which is 2 meters per second. From 1 to 2 seconds, the object's displacement remains at 2. This means, the object is at rest and has no moves. From 2 to 6 seconds, the object moves backward and the displacement decreases at a constant rate. At the fourth second, the object moves back to the starting point. The velocity is minus 1 meter per second. From 4 to 6 seconds, it keeps moving backward for 2 more meters. The velocity is also minus 1 meter per second. A racing car passes the finish line of a race, moving at a constant velocity of 60 meters per second. After 5 seconds, it starts decelerating at 3 meters per second square until coming to rest. Sketch the ST graph from the finish line. From 0 to 5 seconds, the car moves at a constant velocity. So the displacement S is 60 times T. For 5 seconds, it's traveled 300 meters. The graph in this interval is a straight line. From the fifth second on, the car moves in a straight line with a constant acceleration until it comes to rest. V is 0, U is 60, A is minus 3. We can use the formula, T equals V minus U over A to find the time it takes to stop. It is 60 over 3, which is 20 seconds. So, adding the first 5 seconds, we need to sketch the curve to 25 seconds. For displacement, we can use the formula, S equals UT plus half AT squared. But we need to be careful here. This S is the displacement since the 5th second. So we need to add the first 300 meters. And the time is the time elapsed since the 5th second. So we need to use T minus 5. Therefore the expression for S after the 5th second is, 300 plus 60 T minus 5 minus 1.5 T minus 5 squared. This is a quadratic expression, so the curve is a parabola. We sketch it to the 25th second when the car stops. The second kind of graph is VTE graph, or velocity time graph. Here's an example. Its shape is the same as the ST graph we saw, but its meaning is different. From 0 to 1 second, the object accelerates from 0 to 2 meters per second. Since it's a straight line, the acceleration is constant, and it is the gradient of the line, which is 2 meters per second square. The displacement is the area under the line. It is a triangle, and the area is 1 times 2 over 2, which is 1 meter. From 1 to 2 seconds, the object moves at a constant velocity of 2 meters per second. The displacement is 2 meters. From 2 to 6 seconds, the object decelerates from 2 to minus 2 meters per second. The acceleration is constant and is the gradient of the line, which is minus 1 meter per second square. At the fourth second, the object's velocity is zero and comes to an instantaneous rest. After the fourth second, it starts to move in the opposite direction, and the velocity is negative. The displacement from 2 to 4 seconds is the area of the triangle, which is 2 meters. From 4 to 6 seconds, the area is below the x-axis, so it is negative. It is minus 2 meters. Therefore, 
from 2 to 6 seconds, the displacement is 0. The object keeps moving in the positive direction until it comes to rest, and then keeps moving in the negative direction until it comes back to the starting point. The diagram shows the velocity time graph for the motion of a machine's cutting tool. The graph consists of five straight line segments. The tool moves forward for eight seconds while cutting and then takes three seconds to return to its starting position. Find, first, the acceleration of the tool during the first two seconds of the motion. Second, the distance the tool moves forward while cutting. Third, the greatest speed of the tool during the return to its starting position. First, the acceleration is the gradient of the line. It is 0.18 over 2, which is 0.09 meters per second square. Second, the distance moving forward is the area above the x-axis. It's a trapezium. So the area or the distance is, 4 plus 8 times 0.18 over 2, which is 1.08 meters. Third, since the tools returns to the starting position, the displacement is zero. So the area above the x-axis and the area below the x-axis should be the same. The area below the x-axis is the area of a triangle, which is 3 times v max over 2. So v max is 0.72 meters per second. In this class, we learned. In ST graph, velocity is the gradient of the line. When s is zero, the object is at the starting point or back at the starting point. In vt graph, acceleration is the gradient of the line, and displacement is the area. If the area is under the x-axis, the displacement is negative. When v is zero, the object is at rest or instantaneous rest.